So who are the top underrated players of the 2019 Canadian Premier League season? That is the question I'm gonna analyze and answer for you guys right here in this video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Curtis and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So definitely check it out and definitely hit consider hitting that red subscribe button. So obviously we all know these stars of the Canadian Premier League, but in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five players who I think are pretty good players in the CPL in the CPL 2019 season, but just get overlooked because they're just on a team with another star that was a big superstar this year. But so these are five superstars of the 2019 CPL season that are underrated, so let's get things started. Wataru Marafushi, York 9. Marafushi was one of the international players I was actually one of the most excited for to watch in the 2019 season here for York 9. I thought he was a really talented box-to-box -box type midfielder for them. He was actually one of the best players in the league in terms of accurate passes per match average. So, I mean, this guy is definitely an under-the-radar type player that was pretty dominant in that, midfielder, especially in that midfield, especially when he was on his game in 2019. And I think he's one of the players that definitely gets overlooked. I'm really excited to see him back in a York 9 shirt for 2020. Mele Temguya, FC Edmonton. Temguya is one of the best defenders in the CPL that's underrated. 100% he is. Because he's on FC Edmonton, he kind of gets overlooked with Amir Didic, his other center back partner there uh, in the 2019 season. But I think the stats prove, and if you look at all these little numbers here and all these advanced stats over at the Fought Mob app, which is a really good app to see those advanced stats on, uh, I think you can just watch as he continued to grow throughout the season. I mean, the spring season, he started you know steady and nice and steady, and the fall season came along, and, and every month he seemed to get better and better and come September October there was a couple matches there Amir Didge didn't play in and guess what he was probably the best defender on the pitch for either side so I mean Tim Guya is definitely an underrated player and a pretty young player as well that's only going to develop into a better player and I really think if you're an Eddie's fan and if you are afraid of Didge leaving the club and not coming back in future years I think if you can get down a lockdown uh, melee Tim Guya here for a long-term contract I think you guys will do just fine with him because he's definitely an underrated defender in the CPL. Alex Gonzalez, Pacific FC. Alex Gonzalez was another really good international player that I was excited to watch here this season. And I thought, you know, he kind of started the season a little bit choppy with Pacific FC, but definitely fill, filled in a really important role for them as a really good defensive midfielder for most of the season this year. And, uh, you know, a team that kind of did lack a bit on the defensive side of the ball in 2019, he definitely picked up quite a lot of slack there and did help out quite a bit uh, throughout the 2019 season. So, I mean, this guy is a really good underrated player. He also was really good in clearances this year, as well as accurate passes this year. He was among the best. Uh, throws in the course of the season here as well as tackles and successful tackles so I mean a guy like Alex Gonzalez there is definitely underrated because he's maybe not in a glam position uh, like an attacking midfielder or just an attacking player in general and because of that I think he kind of gets overlooked especially on an attacking uh, young fancy attacking cool team like Pacific FC maybe kind of gets overlooked but he shouldn't be because if he does come back for 2020 he's going to be quite a deadly player. Mo Karoma HFX Wanderers Karoma to me is like one of the ultimate underrated players in the 2019 season. He's been crisp, clean, and clear all season for the HFX Wonders. Honestly, he's been one of my favorite Wanderers all season, right up there with you know guys like Elliot Simmons as well uh, for the 20, 2019 season. I think Karoma is definitely a player HFX have to lock down. Since they lost Simmons, they gotta lock down Karoma for the 2020 season because this guy is a stud. He's underrated. Uh, in terms of big chances created, he's among the best in the league. Accurate passes, he's right up there as well. So, and, and assists, uh, the guy is just amazing. And he's so underrated. I don't know why it is, because he is one of the stars of HFX Wanderers. I think he should be considered as one of the stars really in the Canadian Premier League because he's been such a good quality player for the Wanderers and honestly one of the best players they had this season. So definitely ranks uh, right up there for me in terms of one of the most underrated players in the Canadian Premier League. Anthony Novak for Jeff C. Man, do you almost think that Novak almost retired from professional football a few years back and joined the military just blows my mind because we wouldn't have gotten to see the brilliance of Anthony Novak here in the 2019 season. And he's a guy that started the season was more of a sub because they had an Emery Welshman there on the front line for Forge FC. But once Welshman left this past summer, a lot of people were speculating who's going to fill the role, who's going to fill the role. And a lot of people had Novak in there. A lot of people maybe had uh, Thomas or another player in that kind of position to fill uh, Welshman's role. But I think Novak took the job and then he stole it from everybody. Like he took the ball literally and ran it to the other, other end of the pitch and then scored goals. He continually did that. And uh, he also is one of the best goal scorers in the IGF 
field history this year. I think he scored like six goals um, through all his entire time coming to Winnipeg. They only played, I think, two, two or three times this season in Winnipeg for Jeff Sidney. He scored like bunches every single time. The guy's a deadly player is what I'm trying to get at here. And he's definitely one that was overlooked this year. And he was really only a starter the last half of the season, which makes me think if he's a full-time starter in 2020, you got to watch out because he could be a dark horse for the Golden Boot. All right, guys, that was my video this week of my five most underrated players in the 2019 season for the CPL. Let me know your five underrated players down in the comment section below. And of course, guys, hey, if you like this video, definitely show it by hitting that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content about the Canadian Premier League on my channel, definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button and a little bell notification so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one. You can also watch my content, guys, over at northernstarting11.com. The link for that's down in the description below. Definitely check them out. They got tons of great articles, vidcasts, podcasts, all about the Canadian soccer just as a religion. It's all right there. It's, this is your this is your place to go. It's right through that link. So definitely check it out. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.